Yo guys, welcome back to Cryptoria. Today I'm going to be covering Fero, but before I do, I'd appreciate if you like, subscribe, and turn on bell notifications so you know when I upload. And with that being said, let's get into this video. So guys, I've jumped straight onto the Firo's website where it does explain what Firo is. So a financial privacy renewed, Firo is a digital currency with a focus on setting privacy standards. Get Firo here and you can learn more about it as well. In terms of privacy, Firo, formerly known as Zcoin, has been the gold standard of trustless and on-chain privacy since 2016. So guys, the ticket name was used to be called Zcoin, but now it is called Firo. So if you were aware of what Zcoin was, it is now called Firo. So that is what it is guys. In terms of blockchain, Firo's incentive infrastructure gives it an industry leading practical anonymity set. So total supply is 21.4 million, proof of work and master nodes is 5,000 plus. In terms of research and development, Firo is one of the few that actually contributes both independent research and development to blockchain privacy and decentralization technologies. So Sigma, Lelantis and Dandelion as well, where you can learn more about it as well. In terms of how to get Firo, push the frontiers of digital privacy, join the Firo ecosystem today. So you go ahead and get their wallet, you can buy Firo on that wallet, earn Firo tokens as well, and you can start mining your own Firo as well in order to get more Firo tokens as well, guys. In terms of what Firo strives for, Firo strives to increase individual liberty by guaranteeing financial privacy. Firo can help ensure freedom of commerce. People should be able to transact however they want as long as it does not infringe on well-being or individual liberty of others. We are also big believers that freedom of commerce also facilitates peace and prosperity across countries and cultures. By guaranteeing financial privacy, Vera can directly guarantee fungibility an essential property of free commerce. Although there are many anonymity solutions out there for cryptocurrencies, it is our aim in providing the strongest level of anonymity that is possible without sacrificing usability, requiring trust and relying on well-established cryptographic protocols. So guys, that's just a bit about what Firo actually strives for. Jumping straight onto CoinMarketCap guys, as you guys can see, they're doing really well at the moment in the top 500, currently ranked 422. Current price is doing really well at the moment, it is up nearly 2.5% over the last 24 hours. Currently circulating just underneath that $7.50. Current market is pretty low at the moment, but it's pretty good. So it is just over that 91 million and circulating volume is over that 4 million. Going over the chart very briefly, as you guys can see, it was circling around that dollar mark around 2016 and it did surge all the way up to around that $140 mark. So if you did pick up early then, you would have done a massive, massive gain around 140X in fact. And it did unfortunately dip back in that market crash all the way to where the price is at the moment. In terms of where you guys can buy it, best place definitely being on Binance where you could trade against the USDT and BTC as well. But you could check it out on Hubi and Gate.io as well, guys, especially when you keep your tokens on these as well. So, guys, I will be jumping straight onto the price analysis now. So, guys, yes, whatever has been waiting for the price analysis. So, guys, just before I jump into a long term and short term analysis, I did mark out these key levels here. So, as you guys can see, the all time low being around that 34 cent level, all time high being around that $187 level, nearly doing a 500x from where it is over here so if you did pick up there and you got yourself out there you would have made massive 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 gains so as you guys can see i did mark out this zone over here as well where there was that very strong resistance level as you guys can see 110 dollars around there and it hasn't ever touched it since 2018 so as you guys can see at the moment has been circulating underneath that 25 dollar mark for quite some time now guys so as you guys can see that is where it is at the moment it did have that spike back around june time to around that 25 dollar mark but has unfortunately dipped to where it is at the moment so guys jumping into the analysis as you guys can see i am still on the monthly time frame on the against that bitrix market so as you guys can see that resistance i did mark out again around that 110 dollar mark has not been touched ever since back in 2018 so as you guys can see back in 2017 has been very 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 bullish all the way up to around that high i did say around that 190 dollar mark from that 34 cent level so if you did pick up then massive gains to you guys and hopefully you did take our profits as well guys and hopefully no one bought it there as well so that is what i'm saying guys so as you guys can see from those lows around that 
cent mark around here underneath that penny mark as you guys can see it has been creating that massive support levels over here and that massive resistance level around that ten dollar mark that ten dollar to fifteen dollar mark as you guys can see here so has been bouncing between these zones for years now guys as you guys can see back since 2018 time roughly has been bouncing between these zones for a long time and has it even gone above $25 until recently as you guys can see has spiked up near that $30 mark but it hasn't not gone past it as you guys can see so guys it does seem to be a bit difficult going past these zones especially looking at old data back since 2018 so over two years now guys has not gone past this level until fairly recently and it hasn't even closed above if this candle did close above is a much more likely chance it would have pushed towards that $40 $50 mark and then obviously looking towards that $100 region but as you guys can see in terms of what I'm thinking is either going to touch back down towards these level of supports around that penny mark before bouncing back up maybe ranging again for quite some time or what I might do is completely break that go up to this spike around that $25 mark create level of supports around that region before bouncing towards at least this $40 mark as you guys can see that resistance level around here before bouncing back up towards those highs around this resistance around that $110 mark initially guys especially with a lot of news happening and all that sort of stuff that what should help price go up especially with a lot of stuff happening so that is what I'm thinking guys just making sure guys look past uh, these past data it has been ranged for years now literally years so it is pretty difficult especially picking up what it's going to be doing as well but that is what i'm thinking guys jumping onto the weekly guys as you guys can see i did mark out this line here around that 18 dollar mark and there was that resistance level i found around that 28 dollar mark if you look towards the left but i did just mark out here guys just for those initial highs so as you guys can see at the moment there is that strong strong support around here even looking further towards the left there was multiple rejection around the support level around that two dollars fifty cent guys so what i'm thinking at the moment guys is either as you guys can see there was that support turned into resistance at the moment it didn't actually closed above as you guys can see it did spike up towards that $12 mark but did fell back into this range it does seem to be rejecting a fib level at the moment possibly that 61.8 I didn't actually draw out here but it does look like it's rejecting that level quite hard so what it might do now guys is either come back down towards these level of supports over here this little minor support range over here around $4.50 or it might completely break down touching that $2.50 again creating another level of strong support before going back up bouncing this level again possibly around that four dollars fifty create that level of support and go back up towards that eight dollar region initially create level of supports again before going up to these highs initially around that eighteen dollars as you guys can see where that spike was back in earlier this year around may time before going back up towards at least that twenty eight dollar mark initially or what i might do completely is reject that level i just completely go up as you know crypto is very volatile so anything can happen guys but this is just what i think in terms of analysis so those are the two sort of outcomes that i think is going to be happening jumping on to daily guys as you guys can see i have drawn the fibonacci level now and as you guys can see it did have that spike all the way up here around that 12 dollar mark and that low around that six dollar fifty so what i think might happen now guys is that going to be a retracement back up to these levels around this resistance around here around that nine dollar to ten dollar mark in between the 0.5 to 0.16 level before creating level of resistances and then breaking back down towards these lows around that five dollar to around that four dollar mark possibly even down to this level of support around that 1.41 level around that four dollar mark but this is in terms of it looking down towards the downward side because just because i can see there is a upward channel at the moment so i do always expect a bit of a retracement back down just to correct these moves as you guys can see very these last couple of days in fact has been very very bullish for around two weeks even last for a whole month to be honest it has been very 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 bullish since that four dollar mark around here has went all up to around that eleven dollar mark as well guys so that is what i'm thinking in terms of the short term jumping onto four hour guys as you guys can see have drawn out this major resistance level around that ten dollar mark and these supports slash resistance level as you guys can see in terms of these blue circles here so what i'm thinking at the moment guys is what is going to be doing is either going to be coming back down towards this level of support creating another level of strong support around that six dollars eighty before bouncing back up towards these level of resistances slash support around that eight dollar mark hopefully breaking towards it and actually cleaning candles above that range over here 
before creating level of support then going back up to these highs around that ten dollar mark initially so what i'm thinking is even if you pick up now or pick up around these lows or around these support levels here you should be able to get a clean 2x to around these highs around here at least if you do want to play in the short term guys but obviously that is what i'm thinking guys or what i might do guys is either range for quite some time before create a level of support then going towards these highs just initially guys is, as you guys can see it has been ranged for the last couple of days just because as you guys can see it has been bouncing between the ranges of six dollars eighty and eight dollars so that is where i think price will be heading to guys so guys let me know what you guys think make sure you smash the like button subscribe and turn on bell notification for all future videos and with that being said i'll catch you guys in the next video